when I met my husband, we always wanted to start a family and raise our kids out in the country. So we bought a small piece of land and wanted to build a house out here and just raise our family and have a small hobby farm. As we grew and went to build our house, which has still not happened because we built miles of fence now, um, it turned into a major bison operation. I guess I can say I would not change anything because having the freedom and fresh air and everything else honestly makes it all worth it at the end of the day. You know, it definitely makes me proud looking at the expansiveness of the grass and the big rolling hills and it's just it's a beautiful place to raise bison we hear it all the time like man this is a you know this is like a little piece of south dakota or the mountains in wisconsin and it uh, we're definitely very fortunate that this whole situation has worked out the way it is where we can raise bison here on this ground Our girls don't live like normal children, most children, I should say. They aren't on their phones playing video games. They don't get the newest toys. They don't get all that stuff, but we give them something different. They have hundreds of acres to explore. Their animals are their best friends. They are up right away in the morning out there collecting the eggs. They get it from their dad. Chris has always been fascinated with animals and it's just such a beautiful thing to see our girls able to grow up in a situation like this. And it is great grazing land and it was really pretty cool to take it from you know something that was a dairy farm and row crops into nothing but grass and no sprays and everything is basically organic and we're letting animals roam and, and kind of do uh, do what they were built to do. And you know, obviously we're we're working with them, moving them around and that sort of thing. But yet, uh, it's about as natural as you can be in this area of the country. Yeah.